Learn to create an action game in Unreal Engine 5 at unfgames.com Do you think your visual effects look lifeless and flat? Then this video is for you. You will learn about anticipation, climax and aftermath, which are key steps for every VFX, and also you will learn how adding small animations to your effects can make them look more believable and fluid. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for future videos. I'll be seeing you. So the other day, I was thinking about when I started learning VFX. And back then, you didn't have as many tools and tutorials as you do have now. Even if now you probably want more of those and you feel that they aren't enough. But I remember that my, my VFX were really flat. They were lifeless. Um, they had no energy. Like the one that you're watching right now on your screen. <laughs> and um, I just didn't have a pipeline. I just noticed that I lacked a lot of fundamentals, that I lacked a lot of basic knowledge. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna, well, it's a really short tutorial. I'm gonna be showing you about anticipation, climax, and aftermath, right? Some really basic uh, stages of your VFX. So we have anticipation, climax, and aftermath. Right now on this effect, we only have the climax, right? It's just a big energy explosion. That's nice. But what about the anticipation? Anticipation will be, for example, small sparks gathering towards the middle. So now, so for the climax, they just explode, right? And it makes more sense, right? The explosion is not coming out of nowhere. You know, we see some small buildup happening. And the aftermath could be just sparks laying around after the big explosion or maybe some glow. And sure, we can do them. We also have this, this uh, system done for later on. But for now, let's focus on this climax. So what can we do for this to look more lively or more animated or more fluid? There are a couple of things. Uh, by default, of course, you on your stack, you have scale color. We have, this, we have them disabled now for just for showing, right? Right now, the colors are, are flat. They do not disappear. They do not lighten up. So that is one more thing that we can do to give our uh, our effect a little bit more life, right? Okay, sure, we can enable it. And now we can see that it goes from one to zero. So now it fades away. Okay, now both look smoother. But still, both of them are the same color until they fade away, right? So. Just as an example, maybe we can just type color here. And of course, you don't need to do this, you just need to watch it. And we can say, okay, this is gonna be a curve. And we will go from, this is the energy ball. Let's say, when it first bursts, it's gonna be huge power, like 100. <laughs> Shouldn't be too much, I guess, but for the, for the example, should be okay. So now, it bursts really, really strong. And then around here, maybe it's gonna say, let's say, it's starting to fade out rapidly. And then it completely, okay. It's still here, one from, from zero to one. But now you can see how when it bursts, it's really bright. It's really, really bright. And if, if, even if you wanna go a step further, we can just probably put this on, okay, maybe 0.1, and at zero, this is just, let's say it's just two. Okay, so now it feels a little bit more lively, and we can do the same with the, with the outer sparks, right? But we are not gonna do it, it's just an example. So that, that's one of, one of the examples, and Okay, please, maybe not that much. And another one is maybe this energy explosion could have a different shape or or just feel more alive, right? So what if we just do a scale sprite size? And we could say that when it starts living, this can be like 0.5, it could be smaller, and then, sure, it ends up being three. But this depicts no energy, it's just growing. 
this is not good enough. So, okay, two. What if it's not two on point one? I mean, on one. What if it's on point one? So now it grows faster with more energy. Although it's so fast that you can see it, but you can still see some motion. So maybe what, point two? Now you can see, right? It, it is more animated. Maybe this is too big, though. Mm -hmm. Now it now it is a little bit more lively. We can still do more things, like for example, okay. So at point at point two, it reaches uh, this size. But what if at just point two three, it grows slightly smaller? So hold on. If this is one. This is what? 1.1. Oh, sorry. This is 0.8. And then let's make it look like 1. Just grow. So, oh, sorry. Okay, there we go. So 1.1. So now if we check this on slow mo, because you're going to be able to see it better. This is growing, then shrinking, and then softly growing back, which again gives it a little bit more, a, a little bit more um, life to it, right? Although I, I think that this is a little bit too fast; it's happening way too fast. But again, this is just an example, right? You can tweak it however you want. So it just grows here, grows to one, then it shrinks softly and then grows softly again. And just by doing that really simple uh, non-curved animation, uh, your particle soon suddenly feels more alive. Let's just put it back to one. Mm -hmm. And you could do the same for the, for the outer sparks, for sure. Now let's check what I made for an example. So I want this big spark and I want this energy. Okay, we can just say, okay, disable. And we can enable this too. So again, you can see really small and it grows suddenly and it explodes, right? Okay. On itself, this, this small spark, or, or, or I'm sorry, on, on itself, this small energy ball can work as dissipation, right? Because it's really small and then it suddenly grows and explodes, right? So that can work, but I created some extra anticipation. So we can bring this and this. So this is just energy gathering towards our sphere. As you can see in slow-mo, Energy appears on the sides, gathers towards the middle, and the gathering of that, of that energy is making our sphere grow and then explode, right? And we can also see that once the sphere has exploded, our energy is has stopped being gathered, right? It's just really soft. So no, no more energy is being gathered, it just explodes, right? And that looks a little bit more, more believable, a little bit more fluid, right? Gathers and explodes. Really simple. There are still some things that we could do to, to um, add more to our energy ball. For example, we can just disable the anticipation. What if, well, I don't think we're gonna use our old example anymore. So we can just pull them here. We have our climax here, right? And in here, we have some secondary elements to help us sell our climax, which are these, these rings. So these secondary effects are, are just small um, details that can, again, help us sell our main effect, right? In this case, it's just small rings. And where are these small rings? So these small rings are being gathered as the energy is really small. So the energy is small, the, uh, the sparks are gathering towards it, 
So the rings grow, and then the main spark grows too, and it explodes. Right? If we see it in action, just like this. So it's just a really small effect. It does not always need to be this barely visible, as we will see later. But uh, this helps us sell it. Right? We also have a secondary effect here on our dissipation, which is these thin sparks. Let's see them on action. So we enable and we isolate them. Wait, actually, I do not want to isolate this one. Okay, so this is our old anticipation, just energy gathering, right? And what if we just add some more energy gathering, but this time it's on a different shape and it's softer. So it's like this. As you can see, this thin spark, it, the color is way softer and the shape is different, right? If the shape is different, it's adding it a different motion. If it was just more sparks gathering, like uh, circular ones, then you will not see that much difference. And of course, we have we already have small sparks gathering compared to the to the big ones. So yeah, that that's just another secondary effect for our for our anticipation. And if we want to see them all in action, it's like this. Right? It's just really small details that add up. Okay, so we've covered those two things. And what about the climax? We still have some elements here on, on our climax, but uh, I'm, I'm sorry, what about the, the aftermath? We still have some elements here on our climax that we won't use just yet, just yet. but let's, let's bring our aftermath down here. So the aftermath is what happens once the climax has or is dissipating, right? Let's stop the isolation. Oh, sorry. Let's just group them up. Disable. Of course, stop that. Okay, nice. Enable it. So this is just a soft glow that happens once everything has exploded and some small sparks that are left over, right? It's just really simple, nothing way too complex, but let's uh, check them all together now. So energy gathers, we can just make this way bigger. Energy gathers, explodes, and then there is this left leftover. We could just make these sparks uh, um, be more separated, more in the middle, uh, it, it doesn't matter. But the thing is that some big explosion happened here and now it's just dissipating softly, right? Now let's add these two other elements on our, on our climax. And these are some more secondary effects. We can just disable these. Let's just focus on the on the climax now. So we, we are trying to sell the climax a little bit more. So far, it's looking good. But what if we add more, some more elements to it? Now our sphere has a slight glow, a Fresnel glow around it. Right? And it just gives a different shape, contrary if this was just a glow. Right? It's just making it a little bit more complex. And now, what if we also have a glow explosion? So right now, this is, oh, sorry, this is growing, sure, and then it explodes. We could put some more indications that something has exploded, like here. We press play. Once it's once it explodes, we have a like a light explosion, right? And it's not as if we are adding a lot of elements and now they uh, overlap each other. It's just different effects, some really soft and some a little bit stronger, that help you get a a bigger picture, right? So let me just make this. This way, we don't have anything anything else to add. 
So now let's look at the climax by its own. It's looking nice. But once you add it an aftermath, and the anticipation, it feels more organic, more believable, and also, of course, a, a more complete VFX. So just make sure that your effects have a soft buildup or a buildup. Make them make, make sure that they, well, of course, you should always have your climax because that's the main effect, right? That's what you love doing. That's the big Kamehameha, right? But it also should have anticipation. It also should have the aftermath, right? Otherwise, it's not going to look as uh, credible. And of course, that each one of the modules also has, uh, for example, this glow is part of the aftermath. And it is also animated to scale up, to scale down. The colors also fade and are stronger at certain points. Right, so each one of these has its own animation and it helps you uh, sell the effect more, right? It is just not an explosion. It is something that is slowly growing, exploding, then fading away, right? Uh, so I hope that this was fun to watch. I hope it wasn't too short. And please, uh, any feedback, just let me know. And I hope that you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.